Ripple Labs just got a new president. That's right, everyone. They just made the announcement. And we've got central banks as well as regulators out there calling for a ban on crypto saying, hey, crypto is just an elaborate Ponzi scheme. Let's start off with the heat map as we're in a sea of green right now. And that's good to see before JP and the Fed come out with their announcement on February 1st. Bitcoin sitting at 23,347. ETH sitting at 1614. XRP highlight of show sitting at 41.2. XLM friend of the channel sitting at 9.2 up 0.86% in the last 24 hours. Look for volume to be kind of slow here as we wait for the big news to come. Now onto those telling us to stay away from crypto calling it a Ponzi. UK regulator turns away vast majority of crypto companies. The Financial Conduct Authority, otherwise known as the FCA from this point forward, has so far only given regulatory approval to 41 of 300 crypto-related companies. That's close to only 15%, everyone, that have registered with the agency. It would rather seem as though the UK is just not the place for digital asset companies, given that the regulating watchdog is just too fierce for most projects to deal with or comply with. An announcement by the FCA didn't give any hard reasons why so many cryptos did not finish the registration registrations or just outright failed to be improved. Instead, the statement highlighted some stats and I'm going to show you exactly what they're talking about. In this statement, the FCA provided the following in its background section and how the registration was set up. The FCA has been the AMLCTF supervisor of the UK crypto asset business since 2020. Since then, we have received over 300 applications for registration and determined over 260 of January 2023. Of the application that were determined, we approved and registered only 15%, while 74 were either refused or withdrew their application, and they rejected 11% of them. So only 15% of the over 300 applications have actually been approved. We're seeing similar things like that because in the United States, the majority of these crypto companies could not get SEC approval because A, they can't meet the requirements by the SEC, and B, well, they wouldn't show up as a viable business either. So of course, you would expect the same things to happen with the UK. It was stated, of course, a lot of these projects would likely to be exactly the kind of fraudulent setups that the UK certainly doesn't need. However, some of them would potentially provide a lot of innovation and business for the UK. Surely some kind of middle ground can be found. See, it's not just the SEC in the United States that are giving everyone a hard time. We're even seen it from the UK. Now on to central banks calling crypto a Ponzi. What's going on, everyone? Irish Central Bank calls crypto Ponzi, urges a ban on crypto advertisements. According to the Ireland Central Bank, the ICB cryptocurrency advertisements are directed towards young adults, which could prove harmful as crypto can be equivalent to Ponzi schemes. Malhof has also reason to believe that the assets lack underlying value. The primary concern for Ireland's central bank is to allow crypto is low financial stability, which poses a risk to the economy. There could be an unfavorable impact on retail customers because of that. There's a reasonable number of young adults who have put their money into crypto, and there's an uncomfortable level of advertising that is targeted to that cohort. If you find a way, I would recommend that adverts to that cohort are banned. So banning advertising of crypto, as well as saying it's a Ponzi, and then UK regulators out there not giving the approval nod to many companies. In fact, 85% of them did not get the approval. So you still have some negativity on the crypto market out there over you know, over our heads, right? So it's not just green candlesticks. We've got some big regulators out there that are saying, yo, stay away from crypto. But now onto the Ripple Labs news that you want to know about. Ripple gets a new president. Here are the details. Crypto company payment Ripple has announced the appointment of a new president. The now former senior VP and GM of the company, Monica Long, who joined the company nine years ago in 2013, has been given the new honorary position. Let me share some news with you. And this is the announcement from Ripple themselves, because as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. Hello. Coming off of our strongest year at Monica is one of the driving forces behind why we have been so successful. Let me show you with you some stats and why she is being moved to that position. Her team helped launch on-demand liquidity ODL, one of the industry's first enterprise crypto solutions to use for crypto cross-border transaction and Ripple's flagship product in 2018. Today, ODL is available in nearly 40 payout markets. And last year, approximately 60% of payments over RippleNet were sent through ODL. Oh, that's a lot, everyone. In other words, over half of the payments are now using XRP for cross-border transactions. Ripple has processed 30 
billion worth of volume and 20 million transactions since RippleNet was first launched. She says, I'm incredibly honored to take on the role of president as Ripple as we expand deeper into crypto-enabled services like liquidity, settlement, and custody, says Monica. Looking back over my tenure, I can say without a doubt that I've been lucky enough to be surrounded by some of the smartest, most innovative people in crypto and tech as we tackled some huge audacious goals like being able to send money instantly for fractions of a penny around the world. The internet of value is a mission I believe in and one day continue to find inspiration for the future. So we got Ripple getting a new president looking to expand ODL, which I'm a huge fan of. We've got the Irish Central Bank saying, yo, ban on crypto advertising because they're targeting young, vulnerable adults. Come on now. And we've got the UK regulators out there only giving approval to 15% of the firms that applied. So yes, those candlesticks have been green since the beginning of the year, but we have to remain cautious. There's not a lot of volume holding up those candlesticks, and we have Jerome Powell in the Fed right around the bend getting ready to drop a 25 or 50 basis point hit, which can either undo or continue the rally that we've been dealing with. There is a lot of negativity out there from central banks as well as regulators that aren't ready to embrace crypto. What we're seeing is a three-prong attack on crypto. You can contain it, you can ban it, or you can regulate it. What we've seen is countries aren't moving fast to regulate it. They don't wanna ban it, so they're looking more to contain it. Keep it out of the traditional finance sphere and contain the amount of exposure crypto gets either in public settings as well as advertising. Interesting stuff, everyone, because yes, we're seeing green candlesticks, but there's some bad stuff looming over our heads. This video right here is something you will definitely be interested in. It is YouTube algorithm proved. It is useful for you. Until more news breaks, I'm gonna work out and then chill out the rest of the day. So until then, you cool cats, have a great rest of your day.